Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create these two elegant and whimsy Christmas cards using the October My Monthly Hero Kit. We're going to use the really fun and simple pattern stamping technique to give these ornaments this really beautiful design. Here are all the stamps and dies included in the October My Monthly Hero Kit. You see you get this beautiful ornament and a bunch of these single dies that cut out a lot of the stamped images and a lot of really great sentiments as well. I'm going to start with this ornament shape and I'm going to die cut it out of Dove White cardstock and Paradise cardstock. So I have this blue and white ornament. I'm also going to save that panel, that Dove White panel, because I'm going to use that as a jig to help me do my pattern stamping. Next, I'm going to create my tops for my ornaments. I have this mirrored uh, silver cardstock. I'm just going to position the top of the ornament die on there, cut the uh, two of them out, and then I will fussy cut or trim off this excess. You can see there's a little kind of dent at the top there. I just kind of run my scissor blade right along that and cut the two little tops free. Now I'm going to move on to my stamping. I've already gone ahead and positioned that white panel in my Misty. I've got it nestled right in the corner of my Misty, so if it gets out of place, I can always pop it right back in. I then popped in my ornament inside the negative, and I centered this tree from the stamp set. And then I'll pick it up with my Misty, and I'm going to start with a really pretty blue color. This is aquatic. Just ink up that tree and stamp it. Now that I've stamped the, the white ornament, I'm going to actually take it out of my panel, which is acting as a jig. Then I'll pop in my blue ornament, clean my stamp real quick, and now I'm going to do some heat embossing. So I'm going to apply some anti-static powder first, and then I'm going to ink up my uh, stamp with embossing and watermark ink and then stamp the tree. And I did not move that tree stamp at all. I just left it where it was and then inked it up with my next color, which was the uh, embossing and watermark ink. So I just dipped it into some gold embossing powder and then heat set that. Now I have my tree done on my white and my blue ornament. I've now popped in my white ornament again and I've positioned some new stamps from the stamp set. I did thoroughly dry that uh, tree that I just stamped because I'm gonna do some heat, emb heat embossing. I just dried it with my heat gun. I've applied some anti-static powder, inked up my stamps in the embossing uh, watermark ink, and then dipped them into the gold embossing powder and then heat set. Now I've popped in my blue ornament, haven't moved the stamps at all, and I'm going to ink these guys up in the aquatic, so that dark blue. So, so far I've used gold embossing powder and aquatic. Now I'm going to introduce a new color. So I've arranged some other stamps. For the white ornament, my new color here is going to be that pool party uh, reactive ink, a really pretty light blue. Now that I've stamped the white, I've popped in my blue ornament. Here I'm going to do some heat embossing again. So I've inked up these stamps in the embossing watermark ink. And now I'm going to dip in some white embossing powder. And here you can see I wasn't super careful. I didn't dry thoroughly that those blue birds. And I did have to do a little clean up because the white embossing powder did stick to them. So a little, if you do forget, you can kind of fix your mistake with a brush and kind of wipe off that embossing powder if it sticks to anywhere you don't want it to stick. So I'm basically going to continue this process, kind of positioning stamps and then um, stamping my white ornament and then moving on to my blue and then again repeating that process till I kind of fill out both of these ornaments till I get them completely full. So it's a pretty simple technique. It is very um, repetitive. You can again simplify this if just by using fewer colors. Um, but I do think the, uh, here I use three colors essentially on each ornament. I do think it really adds a lot of, because this is a pretty simplistic card, except for this beautiful pattern on these ornaments. And I think this would be really fun to play with this design um, with other colors. And you can definitely change this design a bit because there are many small stamps in this uh, set, so you can really get different designs. I kept it simple for both these and just made the same, obviously, design on both of the ornaments just different colors, but again, you could really, I think there's just a lot of fun things you could do with these little uh, these little images for your ornaments. So I'm just finishing up here. I just did the last little um, diamond, and now I'm going to do a heart over on both sides. So I'm starting with the left side here, doing that heart by the end of the bird. Definitely have to do it on the blue ornament as well. And after I finish that left side, I just repeat that on the right side. So I'm almost done here. Just have the blue one and just finish that up with 
the last heart and here's the finished ornaments I love how they turned out and I cannot wait to play with different colors and different stamps to create different designs I'm not going to move on to my sentiment and a string for my ornament the string is actually just a design uh, element or design stamp included in the set turned vertically I am going to do some heat embossing on this uh, panel of paradise paper so I did apply anti-static powder inked up the images or the stamps in the embossing watermark ink and then heat embossed in silver embossing powder I'm just going to repeat this on this other panel of colored cardstock again doing the heat embossing and doing it in silver so just repetitive here are some more very simple um, stamping thanks to the Misty. The Misty helps out a lot for this. And now I'm going to finish it, these cards up. I'm going to just adhere these, pa these panels of colored cardstock down onto two A2 uh, top folding card bases. And once I stick those down with the uh, precision glue, I'm going to move on to my ornaments. I'm going to add a little bit of the glue to the toppers. And then I'm going to grab those uh, mirrored silver cardstock toppers and just adhere them right on top. I've already gone ahead and added some foam adhesive to the back side of the ornament. So I'm just going to remove the backing and then center those and stick them down. And once I get both those ornaments in place, I just have one last element, which is two little bows that I created out of some gold cord and I just used a little bit of uh, hot glue to stick those down and that actually completes the cards. I'll now hold them up to the camera so you can get a good look at the final product. I really love how these cards turned out. It's basically a clean and simple design but thanks to the gold embossing and the the mirrored cardstock and that beautiful design created through pattern stamping it really adds some elegance and I think this it could be a really good card design for mass producing thanks to that kind of jig system and the misty you could create several cards like this at once I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards and video if you'd like any more information on the products I use please head over to hero arts and thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day